Today we're in a Honda dealership. Today we got Braden here. Thank you so much for meeting up with me. Yep. So this is like your corner. This area. is my this is my corner. That's awesome. This is where they stick me. So do you enjoy Hondas? Yes. That's cool. Yeah, Honda's, Honda is my brand. That's awesome. And so these, uh, like this, this dealership is really unique because they don't have any of their boxes out like on display. And so you see all these doors that are behind the walls. And uh, so you guys lock up all your door, all your boxes every night. Yeah, all the carts, all of our main boxes are in the room. And then at night we put our carts away. Right on. That's cool. So why do you do that? Why don't you just leave them like? Uh, it's just to keep the shop uh, more cleanly because of so tight in here that we want to ah, okay. keep the walls and everything that a little bit more sense. area for everyone when they're not here. That's cool. So this is your your roll cart here. This is my roll cart. And then you have your uh, main box in here. So it's a little bit squishy back here. I mean, it looks like you have enough room to get into your box. And so do you, is this all just storage? Uh, storage, um, te no good test parts. Oh, um, yeah. You got a whole bunch of stuff back parts here. Parts to my projects. Wow. So is uh, this just for you or is this th for anybody? This is just me. Like, I share. Okay. I always, like, if, if someone needs help with a test, like, finding out a solution to a vehicle, uh -huh. I got, I'll go through and find test parts. We were missing hardware. I got hardware. Nice. Um, I got new parts and pegs. Yeah, you got a ton of stuff back here. How long have you had this car? Um, I bought this car at my very first haunt, uh, dealership job since 13 or 14. Whoa. And at one point I traded it for a Honda Civic wagon, a Waggo van. <laughs> what? Yeah. Holy cow. And then um, the guy I bought, I traded it to, um, ended up trading it back to the tool truck after like six months. And then I was like, I want that back. <laughs> and so I bought it again. That's awesome. So it looks like you keep most of your uh, sockets up top. Yeah, so this this cart is all my daily use stuff. Oh, okay. Everything I'm gonna need for most general jobs is in here. Nice. Um, it's, I know what I need, I know what, how to do it. And I yeah. Know, so I just keep it all out here. And so as far as your uh, your cordless stuff, looks like you're mostly Snap-on? Yeah. That's cool. Um, the Milwaukee stuff's getting better, but I, I've already committed to this, so I'm sticking with this for now until something else comes out. Snap-on is changing everything lately. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with them or try, try something else out. Sure. I did just buy this. Oh, that's nice. This is yeah. the new uh, brushless. Yeah. And um, I actually used one of my other coworkers as a guinea pig when he bought one. Yeah. To see how much better it was than my old one. Uh -huh. And this thing will take out subframe bolts. No it way. Will, yeah, it'll leave it. It'll take off lug nuts, but this thing will just zip everything apart. And it's so small. It has such a small profile. It's yeah. Sweet. It's it is actually slightly bigger than the old one. I have an older oh, one it? in there. I, okay. I can show you. Yeah. It's just a little bit. I think more wide in your hand. So do you like the uh, the ratchets? So this is a quarter. Yeah. And a three eighths. This. Yeah, these are amazing. Everything on Honda is bound and sideways. And so you're always doing like timing belts and gotcha. timing chain or anything on that side, the timing side of the motor. It's always sideways like up against the, against the frame. Uh -huh. And so this fits in perfect to get in there to get everything. Yeah, that's sweet. Snap on, do you follow a brand? Yes. Uh, yeah, hand tools, snap on almost no matter what. There's a really? few, other, there's a few little uh, exceptions to that rule. But all of my sockets, except for these wobblies, but I'm kind of wanting to get rid of these wobblies. I do like these ones. These are Cornwell. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, these ones are just, they don't always fit very good. What? And Who makes those? These are Matco. Oh, those are Matco. So, okay. you know how Matco is. They don't really make sure. their own tools. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is rebranded. Who knows what brand these really are? Yeah. Um, so. Uh, so do you get all the trucks out here, like Cornwell, Matco? Cornwell, Matco, and Snap-on. Yep. Okay, no Mac? No Mac. We had a Mac dealer for I think six months and yeah. a bunch of guys opened up accounts with them and then one day he never showed up again what? and never collected from the guys <laughs> as far as i know wow yeah i never bought anything from him other than uh i think this magnetic tray <laughs> yeah so got a bunch of free tools from somebody yeah that's cool and so you have uh oh, those those are pry bars right over there yeah these are all pry bars okay it's weird that you have a red and and green so these are different tools so oh okay gotcha so this getting 
clips and connectors oh, yeah. apart. Okay. And are these just like standard screwdrivers on the side? Yeah, just, um, yeah. And oh, okay. My favorite thing about these screwdrivers is most of these are the original ones I bought in like 14 oh. or 15. Yeah. And I've never needed to, to nice. replace them. I think I've broken the big one one time and then had, had that one replaced. It's been quite used and abused. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And then I've got... What is that? Uh, That's for neat. a cutting away gasket. I've never seen them like cricket like that. No, That's so wild. it's the perfect shape on um, a Honda V6 for oh. getting the Honda Bond. Oh, okay. Um, scraping all, all that, I guess it's RTV off of it. Yeah. Yep. So I see a light down there. Is that like your go-to? Uh, this is not my go-to. My go-to is actually in the charger okay. in there. But this one's nice for if I'm working down below, but I can get some light above and shine it down. Show you my next drawer. These are where all my wrenches live. Bunch of wrenches in there. Oh, you weren't kidding. They're like all snap on, huh? Yeah, they're all snap on. These are, these are amazing. Like one of my buddies bought an Icon set and thought it was gonna be better than mine or the same. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, it's designed by it's an old snap on designer. Uh -huh. No, not at all. He's like, he's like, my tie rods uh, rounded out and I can't grab it. Uh -huh. uh, his his wrenches are maybe like three months old. Uh -huh. I I went with him to go buy them. And I grabbed it with this 14 and broke it loose immediately. Really? <laughs> and he was just like, I guess uh, that's the difference. Yeah. No, you just can't, you can't beat these wrenches. No. And, yeah. Hands down. So are these your go-to ratchets here? Then? Yep. So Pretty I got sweet. the half inch right here, mainly nice. used for just turning over motors. Oh, okay. Just rotating for, we do a lot of valve adjustments. Nice. And I need to rotate the motor to every top of the center for every cylinder. Yeah. Guy gets used every day. Every oh, hour. is that your go-to then? Yeah, like, this is my go-to. <laughs> this guy gets used. I don't really like using quarter. Oh, okay. I'm kind of weird, and I don't like using quarter. A lot of guys love quarter, and I stick yeah. with three-eighths as my go-to. Okay. Uh, just because I'm a bigger guy, and I got big ah. hands, so I want something I can ah, okay. handle better, because <laughs> um, this guy is amazing. Oh, that's nice. Breaking everything loose. Yeah. Like, everything will break loose with this guy. That's sweet. If it doesn't break loose with this guy, it's probably going to break, and if I, I'll go to this guy, and it'll break. Nice. <laughs> Those are kind of neat. Uh, these are wrenches. these are Cornwell. Are they and, reversible? Um, yeah, you can you can oh, flip them with the other cool. way. These are amazing. So huh. this is my wrench for like drive belts and, and such, oh, and yeah. hard to reach places on the side of a motor. Yeah. Even like interior work, this ten and eight is amazing. Like there's bolts for like the radio. Yeah. They're straight up and down, and you can just get this in there just like that and just crack it loose. Oh, that's cool. You because you only need to break it loose a couple turns to get. Yeah. The, to get the component to come out. Nice. So this sets the, basically the same thing as that, just this one's ratcheting. Yep. And yeah. I guess you don't have any like SAE. No, nope, I don't mm -hmm. have anything gotcha. standard. <laughs> I, sometimes I think I need a wrench or two, but I just, yeah. I figure it out without. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Here. Are these just, are these Wobble Plus? Is that yes, those are, not everyone likes those. I love those. Yeah. Um, I'll have things at weird angles and I can get it loose with just this and a regular socket, not a wobbly. Yeah. And this long, Extension? What's this is, I use this to, with a 19, so it's a half inch on this side. Okay. And then a 3 eighths on this side. Ah, okay. Put my 19 on it, and then I'll use this, go on this, like run it through the wheel well and turn the motor over. Oh, okay. But Perfect. it also works really good if you're working on like an S2000 okay. and then doing, a, doing the transmission. Oh, that makes on sense. It. Yeah. Okay. Um, I thought I'd show these. Oh, yeah. Got, Got the handy dandy hood prop. Some nice. of these hood props on these cars are really in the way of what oh, you're working sure. on. <laughs> so I'll just put this in a good spot and it work. nice. works really good. Got more Honda Bond. What is that? That's kind of neat. These are, so you can actually only get these through Honda. Oh, it's like a Honda specialty tool. Yeah, but it is Snap On. Oh, and it's you Snap On. Can, but you cannot order it on the Snap On truck. What? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> That's why. Yeah, it has a part number there um, huh. for rivet clips with the, with the pop in the center. Yeah. Um, it grabs it and pulls it out. Oh, that way you don't break those clips. Yeah. This still does break clips sometimes though. Sometimes yeah. they're just too, too stuck. <laughs> but this is a That's really neat. fancy tool for that. Wow. Does the other end do something? What's uh, yeah, so if you have one that's too flush or you can't quite get, you can oh, jam this up in gotcha. there and rock it up. That makes sense. That's sweet. Your standard pliers there. Mm -hmm. Is this like a valve adjustment? Yes, that is for my valve adjustments. Nice. This is actually an old snap-on. Uh, if you buy them now, they're a blue point. Oh, okay. And it's a 10 millimeter on this side. Yeah. And that's a, a standard screwdriver in the middle. And you can break the 10 loose oh, and yeah. then make your adjustment with your feeler gauge, set it where you want it and lock it down. That would come come in handy. Yeah, feeler gauges for it. I keep all the ones I commonly use on the side that's loose. Oh. 
that makes so sense. I was yeah. confused. I was always opening the wrong side. So oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I got my other set of feeler gauges, mostly out right now because um, AC season it's about over, but uh -huh. uh, setting up a clutch. Um, you want to have the clutch within the spec. Oh, so gotcha, yeah. You're always using these, and that's why they get all crummy. Yeah. Nice. What is that thing over there? This guy? Uh, or all yeah, this? Yeah. This is actually the factory valve adjustment tool. Oh, wow. So this is same same thing, 10 yeah. in the standard. And so you just put a wrench on that? You just put a wrench on there, yep, 17. Huh. And is that made by, or who's that? Uh, it's, 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 it's probably Honda. It's huh. got a special tool part number right there. Oh, that's wild. And there, there's another special tool part number on this guy, too. Oh. And and then, Impact driver, but I don't really use it anymore. Really? I bought, I found something even better than an impact driver. For like rotors and stuff? Yeah, for rotor screws. So um, these always, I like, you know, every third set of rotors I do, the tip will break or twist, and they're actually twisting right now. Uh -huh. And so I found something even better. I'll just pull it out right now. Okay, yeah. I saw this on TikTok. You put it on your air hammer. Uh, okay. And you, when you're hammering, you just put your weight right here, and it always breaks them loose. That's Every cool. single time. I have yet to see a rotor beat me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's um, awesome. This thing is amazing. Huh. I actually, I, I was the first one to get it here like about two months ago. Uh huh. And I've gotten almost every single person here to buy a set because really? they were always stealing it. They're like, I might as well just get my own at this point. Wow. Uh, even our Express team all bought one. Really? They all bought air, air hammers too. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Man, and so you can replace the bit and stuff. Yeah, too. the bit comes right out. Nice. And it's actually got, um, I don't know what brand bit it came with, but I replaced uh, it with a Cornwall one. Oh, nice. Cool. So did you work at a different brand before Honda? Nope. Well, you've been working like Honda your whole career? Yeah. That's cool. There's a couple independent shops and I just didn't yeah. really like, like it as much. <laughs> yeah. You just never knew what was rolling through the door and oh, I, was just, yeah. I wanted some kind of consistency to my work. Oh, yeah. So do you, like how, how what's the, like percentage of Hondas that you work on compared to like other brands? Oh, it's 90, 99, 98. 90, really? Yeah. Well, it's Cause I see other dealerships and they're like, yeah, we'll take it. Like we'll, yeah, we'll get a few other ones. Most of the time they go to the used car guy. He deals with those a lot. Oh, okay. um, he's an old Ford tech. Send those kind of cars over to him. We, uh, we call them Nondas. Nondas. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So we'll get some Nondas in here and. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we're so busy with our Hondas. Like there's overwhelming amount of work yeah. that comes in here. That's crazy. And it's good to stay busy. Yeah. I just, we don't have time to really do gotcha. the Nondas, but we still, tr if someone brings in their car, we're still going to try to get to them the best we can. That's cool. So you do you enjoy Hondas? Yes. That's cool. Yeah, Honda's, Honda is my brand for sure. I I all my bikes are Hondas. Really? Yeah, I own three <laughs> motorcycles, right on. two Groms, one CBR. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then um, I've got I got my CRV. I love 90, 97 to 01 CRVs. Oh yeah, I think it's the best Honda in my opinion. That's the first gen, right? Yeah, first gen yeah. RD1. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, big Civic is all it is. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you can do with, to an EK Civic, you can do yeah. those. That's so cool. Yeah. And they're all-wheel drive. And they're all-wheel drive. Um. And then I've got my other go-tos. I got my half inch. Got the three eighths. Nice. They're both Matco. Uh, the Snap-on one is really cool, but for the price, it's just not that great. <laughs> yeah. So you still use air quite a bit in the shop? Um, yeah, just with these two. Like, I don't really use anything else besides these two oh, and gotcha. the air hammer. Air hammer is a necessity for things. Sure. Yeah. Um, but these are kind of getting phased out. This fits in really good places still, even with sure. the air hose. And it has way more torque than. And it has way more torque. Yeah. Than any of my electric stuff so far. Yeah. The electric stuff's just too big with that battery right. on there. Yeah. This guy, don't I don't use him really much more than just taking off wheels anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, wheels like axle nuts and yeah some suspension parts. Is the uh, your air hammer hit pretty good? Oh, this is. This is the best. The bee's knees. Yeah, it's the bee's knees. I love this thing. That's cool. Like, Have you I had can, other ones in the past? Or yeah, I had the corn one before this one. Yeah. And it just couldn't always keep up. Like, it worked really good most of the time, but there was a few times where it just couldn't do it. Yeah. And so then I was like, my step on dealer was like, all right, give me, give me your hammer. I need it for this job I'm doing right now. Uh -huh. You happen to be here. Put this in my hands, and it did it in seconds. No what my other way. one couldn't even do. Yeah. I was just like, I've been struggling here for an hour uh, and this thing just popped it out like it was nothing. They're like buying that today. Yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah, we've got one guy here. He likes to sometimes break out his old decrepit one. Really? And he'll just make <laughs> us listen to him for like 
at forever. It feels oh, like that's the just worst. hammering away at something. And one of us will get fed up and go take ours <laughs> and just go <laughs> and snap, just finish the job right there for him. And then he's just like, thanks. Uh, that's awesome. And I got my air truck here. Love this one. Snap one just, did just come out with a new design, but I think I replaced this right before. Oh, did it? Uh, they came out with that. Huh. It, I think every like two years it dies. Yeah. On me. <laughs> the battery will die or air hose breaks or something. Gotcha. So, so they warranty it? Yep, this oh, yeah, cool. it's lifetime. Oh, yeah. Most of our electric stuff isn't lifetime, but this one is. That's awesome. So cool. Let's see. And so this is this is yours too here, right? Yes. This That's is cool. uh look at all these uh, chains right here. Look at that. Those are all my timing jobs, those oh are all the goodness. timing chains I've replaced. Holy cow. People don't change their oil on time and the chain stretches out over time. <laughs> And they lose Man. time, so we give them a new chain. Nice. I save it. I want to make a table out of it. Yeah. That'd be sweet. <laughs> Think it'd be a sweet table. Yeah. We'll throw some uh, resin over the top of it. Yeah. And this uh, this bench is like super. This heavy is a uh, Snap On Wheels Blue Point. Oh, Blue it's Point. a transmission teardown bench. That's cool. Uses as my desk. It's the best thing ever. Yeah. Like this, I, I don't even think I could move it. Like this is like. No, it's, it's so sturdy. It's all like adjustable on the bottom and everything. Ah, oh, that's cool. And is that like a scan tool there? Uh, this is actually a TPMS tool. Oh, it's TPMS. It's okay. uh, made by ATEC. So you is get... that like Honda specific or is Yes, it... this oh, is. Okay. Yeah, Honda specific. Well, it works on other brands too, though. Does it? Okay. Yeah. That's but neat. it is sold through Honda. So there's really not much to it. With a... It's really good, though, because it checks the battery and yeah. tells you what the tire pressure sensor thinks that the pressure is. Mm, okay. Because I've had a, some that have a tire pressure light, and I'm like, you're full. Yeah. And it'll be reading like 13 PSI. Uh -huh. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I like how your lights are like, they're not just up top here. Like yeah, I wish they were brighter though, because it's a little bit dim, very huh? dim in here. Huh. Yeah, yeah they're, cool. we're redoing this building very, I believe soon. Oh, okay. So. so this is your main box in here. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit squishy in here, but I'll see if I can squeeze in between here. But yeah, I really like this uh, this Rhino line top. The I love this top. That's sweet. Um, I had the stainless top, or it was really thin oh, okay. on top of here, so I, I bought this. I was, I was trying to get the lighted one. The lighted one was on like back order forever during, uh, I think, towards the end of COVID. Gotcha. Yeah. And so I just opted to just get this one instead. Gotcha. It makes it a little taller, pretty tall. I can't only see it in the hair like this. So uh -huh. I have to duck down if I want oh, to see gotcha. it in the back. <laughs> so Man. a little bit of height helps. I feel like these hold up a little bit more. They than do. They, they really do. And I can throw things in here and not to worry too much about yeah. damaging it. That's cool. Is that like a mini toolbox? Or yes. Like? That's this cool. is one of those mini toolboxes I had an old technician give this to me. Oh, uh, look at that. Um, no, it's the Mustang <laughs> edition. Yeah. Um, keep, I keep no good spark plugs in here. Um, keep random little stuff. Tiny drawer. Little tiny drawers. You got light bulbs. <laughs> oh, got awesome. fuses. You got a random special tool. Oh, pair yeah. of scissors. Nice. Some ex exhaust nuts, I believe. More fuses. So I really like this thing. It's cool. Everyone's always coming in here and digging through it. Yeah. Trying to find awesome. my goodies. Oh my gosh, you have pink Matco screwdrivers. Yeah, yeah, I bought those because I was like, I had to have the pink. But yeah. then Snap-on came out with pink ones too, and oh, I bought okay. those. Those are actually at home in the, my home Snap-on box. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And you got a pink like tray there? That's mm -hmm. cool. Pink uh, Snap-on lock, lock a socket. Nice. You got mostly it's in here is like 12, or 13, 15, 16, oh, and no. 18. <laughs> Literally all the stuff. All the stuff using. I don't use. <laughs> But sometimes, you know, someone changed all the hardware before I got there gotcha. and I, I need a different uh, size or something doesn't quite fit. Sure. Come get this. So is this your go-to light, the Stinger? Yes. I, this is the Stinger HL. The HL is so much brighter than the other one. Sometimes it's too bright, yeah, but awesome. most of the time it's so amazing. Yeah. I love this flashlight. I've had this flashlight forever. You can see the paint's gone. Oh, yeah. I've had this from back at my very first uh, job fixing really? cars. That's awesome. Yeah, this thing is amazing. I guess I'll stand on this side and... Okay. I can uh, reach. I got long arms. Yeah. Wow, man. You got a lot of stuff up here. Huh? I got a lot of good stuff. I love... I love electrical testing. It's, sometimes it's the bane of my existence, but then when, when I figure it out, I love it. So I bought this guy. This is the military display. Oh, wow. That's a cool... It's a really, it's a really cool addition of yeah. the Snap-on. It's, it's really neat. It's, it does everything I could ever ask it to. I, yeah, this thing... It is my favorite. <laughs> how, how, how long have you had that? I've had this for probably six, maybe five years. Oh, really? Yeah, huh. I've, I don't think I've ever had to replace the battery in it. Wow. Yeah, I use it all the time, and it's 
just an amazing tool to have. That's cool. Uh, I got random wrenches here that I use from time to time. Got some older line wrenches. I actually just bought the snap on line wrenches. Oh, that's sweet. They were on back order for I think like two years and I finally got a set. Oh, those are nice. These are so nice. I only really used two of them, but I, <laughs> I was like, I might as well get the whole set. Yeah. Who knows when I'll need it. Got some other stuff in here I, I don't really use. Uh, this is really nice though, the stud, metric stud puller kit. Bought this off my Snap-on dealer. Got the different, back when I was in my express days, use this for the different oil filters. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I did do express for, I think, two years before I started moving up. Nice. So did you do express for Honda? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> See, like Started really, from the very bottom. Really, really moved up. Yeah. Uh, this looks like a sweet set here. This is amazing set here. I got this a while ago. And it's pretty much got everything I'd ever need, torque spit wise. That's awesome. Was there something like supposed to be here? With yeah, this? that big long ratchet I showed oh, you earlier actually yeah. came with this set. That's how I no got way. it. That's cool. And then it has that one, but I just don't, I never need that one. The other quarter inch one works ah. great. Yeah, that's sweet. Is this like an 82? Oh, it is. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, this was an amazing set. Yeah. I, it was like, I think my dealer was like telling me it was. It was originally like eleven hundred dollars, and he had it in his truck for five hundred bucks. No way! And I was like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I need the torques, uh, and it's cool that it comes with the ratchets. Yeah. Did you lose these guys? Or um, no, they're actually out there on the oh, road. Okay, you use those. They're, okay. they're pretty commonly used this time of year for uh, AC compressors. Nice. Yeah. You got a big beefy. I got the. I wasn't asking yeah. ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty much. It's either gonna break the the. It's either gonna break loose or it's gonna break the the bolt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Here's these it. are my torque wrenches. I love these torque Whoa, wrenches. That's a th got like the high vis. The black and high vis. That's yeah. Sweet. That thing's amazing. I love this thing. I use it all the time. I got my half inch one wow, with the green that's and the so cool. and, and the black body. That thing's way cool. Man, I, I've been doing a lot of head gaskets lately, and yeah. that thing is amazing. Wow, oh, that's awesome. It does does everything. It does angle and it does all the different measurements. That's cool. This, I love the high vis. That's the high vis looks so good, but it gets dirty really fast. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I love the black. You don't see that very often. Mm -hmm. Well, most of the time there's the silver. Or yeah. Chrome. Yeah. There's another one right there if you want to oh, sure. open that one up. I just barely bought this one. Whoa. And that's the mini. That. Or does all sorts of micro uh, wow. torquing. Works great on the oil pans and such. That's cool. Tiny so does covers. this do angle and stuff? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It looks like it has the batteries in it. The buttons are a little small for my big hands. <laughs> they are like tidy, huh? Yeah. Man, that's awesome. I've also got this Matco engraver. Oh, yeah. I love this thing for, uh, I like, we'll, we'll re ring a motor, uh -huh. replace all the piston rings, and I'll use this to engrave the rod and the, and the piston so I know which one's which. Oh, that's so smart. Like a w one through six. Yeah. And I'll do the same number on the rod that I do on the top of the piston. Oh, yeah. And that way I don't mix anything up. Yeah, that's like on the on the V sixes you have to re ring. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the V sixes will the ring oil rings get clogged with carbon and then they stop sealing. Mm, gotcha. And foul out your plugs. Yeah. Go through this drawer of. Oh yeah. So I got a lot going on here. Got a lot of different pliers. I've got these Nipex here. Oh, really sweet. good for. Um, when your tie rods don't want to move, yeah. even with a wrench, this will grab it and it'll take care of it almost every single time, break that rust free. Yeah, it does look similar to like a, like the Snap-on has the... Snap-on has their own version that looks yeah. identical to it. Yeah. I actually got these off the Snap-on truck because <laughs> someone traded these in for the Snap-on. Oh, one. really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, I got the hose remover pliers. Uh, these are Blue Point. And I've pretty much stopped using these. They just... They don't get the angles I want, and I can usually get it with other pair of pliers. Oh, okay. Um, I've actually found a ru really rusty set of these in a splash shield. Really? Horrible rusty. And my dealer just was like, here, give those to me, and then threw me this set. No way. I warranted about for me right there. Wow. That was really cool. He was, I, was, I didn't even know what they were because they were so decrepit. And yeah, what are those? Are they? they're, um, they're pretty much the same thing as these. They just pinch off hoses. What? Yeah. I not. I've actually never used them, but... Huh. You lock it where you want it, and then you flip this, and it's got like a little, little oh, teeth right wow. here that lock it down. Huh. That's interesting. Um, use these mainly for rebuilding power steering pumps. Power steering pump rebuilding is kind of a lost art. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind doing it. <laughs> Pays decent enough, especially when you're the only one that knows how to do it, and you're saving yeah. someone, you know, a $1,000 power steering pump or... $1,000? Yeah, or more. 
Wow, why yeah. are they so expensive? Uh, just Good. lots of intricate de small parts wow. in there. Is that like a newer pump? Because I remember like they weren't that expensive when I had a Honda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. They've always been quite expensive. Really? You, know, you know how the market's been. Everything's sure. getting oh, more yeah. and more money. Yeah. yeah. But yes, yeah, some of them are cheap. Some of them are not as expensive. Some are very expensive depending huh. on what they are. Yeah. Um, but, you know, $250 in labor and, you know, 60 bucks in seals versus $1,000. Oh, yeah. $1, yeah. I'd probably pick the the seals. Sure. Got tons of ice grips. Yeah. Front sway bar links. I'll do anything to get make my my life easier uh -huh. without destroying my hands. It'll give me carpal tunnel sometimes sitting there fighting uh, them. That's the worst. And it, one of the one of these will get the job done. I've <laughs> <laughs> uh, got this tiny little Matco box full of goodies. Oh, Never that. for little micro adjustments and that's tiny cool. places that are really hard to get tools. Whoa. You don't want to rip apart half the dash. Yeah. These work really good. That's cool. So is that. this like one end for these smaller bits, mm -hmm. and then this is for this? Yep. Yeah, you can pop these oh, in. That's cool. I kind of they do have a drive up fitting on them too, which oh, is nice. Okay, yeah. And they just slot right in. That's cool. They were really good for underneath the dash. Nice. Got the rest of my hose picks. Uh, the hose pick set I bought was huge. And you got a nice uh, hex set. A nice hex set. Nice I don't use too much, but when, it, when I need it, it's really nice to have. Yeah. My tri plastic trim tools, the nylon tools, these are amazing. Oh, yeah. And for pulling apart plastic stuff on the interior where you don't want to damage it or make marks. Uh-huh. I'll show you one drawer on this side, the rest of it's some crap. Right. Well, I guess I got one at the bottom. So, just wow, got... look at that. That's cool. Got my, my snap-on picks. These are new. That I just barely got. They're like... And they're beefy picks. Yeah, they're like uh, between a radiator pick and like a... Like a hose pick and um, an actual yeah, mini like, pick like these. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is like perfect size. Like certain things, like you wish that your pick was stronger. Yeah. Like these will just like bend them straight. Right, yeah. And then these came out and I was like, I need those. Oh, that is cool. And so, you got the high vis too. Yeah, I got the high vis. I love the high vis. Man, that's cool. I haven't had to use them too much yet. It's been not the, not their season yet. Huh. Got all the Cornwall picks here. Nice. How do you like these handles? I really, I don't mind them. These are, they, and I bought this set and then like a year later they came out with this style. Oh, okay. And I like this <laughs> style too. And then I've got... All of my snap ring pliers. Cool. These are nice because you can swap. You can switch the head. You can oh, make okay. so you can make it open or pull yeah. shut, depending on what you need it to do. I love that design because they used to have it where you like you had to unscrew. You it. had to unscrew oh, it. Yeah, I traded. I had a whole set of them just like this, and I traded them all in for this because <laughs> it was such a pain in the butt. to yeah. switch them over. The only problem is that sometimes you accidentally disconnect it when you're using oh. it, and you're like, no, I almost had it. <laughs> Here, got special tools. Got the master compression tester right here from Matco. Oh, yeah. This thing's pretty awesome. Really like this set. And it seems pretty accurate. I haven't had any issue with it. Cool. Always always works out for me. Let's see, this is just for twisting in calipers on the rear. For this. Uh, got the Matco leak down tester. This is really good. That for looks nice. I, um, what I'll end up doing is checking for head gasket leaks. I'll compress the air into the cylinder and see if it bubbles out the radiator. Hmm. Uh, Hondas, do you have a lot of issues with the uh, like head gaskets? No, no, no. Yeah. Most of the time, it's people mistreating their car of some oh, sort to gotcha. cause it to go bad, mm, like overheat or something. Yeah, gotcha. Got the fuel pressure tester kit. This thing is amazing. Oh, oh geez, does everything you have, like, I need everything it to. In there. Um, I've had cars that will have weird issues and I can drive around with this and I'll tape it to the windshield really? <laughs> and I'll go drive it on the freeway yeah. and all of a sudden I'll see a dip in fuel oh, pressure yeah. and stuff like that or yeah. like excessive load oh, wow. and then I'll be like, yep, some, I know where to start looking. <laughs> Got the old Cornwell coolant pressure tester. That thing works every time. Really good for finding leaks. Uh, power probe. Definitely never use this anymore. Really? Ever. Like, if I need to test a component, I'll just jump it to power. Like, huh. obviously, you don't jump computerized components to power. Like, it's yeah. obvious you don't try to force those things on. Yeah. Huh. So, a lot of people say that they'll break things it's just about being smart with it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it can be used as a DMM, but I might as well just use my DMM. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. uh, then, Fuse Saver. Actually, I bought this. Because one day I had a car that would blow a fuse every single time you put a new one in it. What is that? Um, it makes it so that instead of blowing fuses, you use this, you put it in between. 
and it acts like a fuse, and then you just have to reset these. No way. Yeah, and it changes. You got the different amperage. Oh, it's a yeah. Matco. That's it's kind of cool. I'm always looking for good new things for yeah. electrical testing, so That's I bought cool. it. But I've only had the one, had to use it the one time, and then I've yeah. had to use it since. <laughs> That'd be cool to have, though. Yeah. Start down here. Got my electrical testing. I got all sorts of stuff. Got the D-pin set, so you can D-pin all the different styles connectors. It's even got a seam ripper. Oh, that's Probably cool. the most expensive seam ripper I've ever bought. <laughs> uh, De-looming something. Uh, yeah. Got this snap-on stripper crimper. It's like tiny, huh? Yeah, these are really small, but these are amazing for crimping because the mouth right here. Oh, okay. So if you got a butt connector or something, you can crimp it. Yeah. Really good. And then I've got the, these are the snap-on ones. They also crimp, but the crimper's in the back and the stripper's oh, in the front. Oh, I see. So yeah. I'll switch back and forth between using both of these huh. when I'm fit, doing a wire repair. Yeah. I just got this. I haven't had to use it yet. What is um, this is basically a power probe, what? but it's, uh, it's got a built-in, uh, it's almost a multimeter huh. in a way. So it'll read out the voltage. This is amazing for finding uh, bad alternators. No way. And other components, you can sit there and poke and prod instead of having to find what fits in the little hole. Huh. It has, this is a new one. This one you can screw on all these different size Whoa, tips. There's that. even one for, oh, just add myself. Um, you can screw this on and use stuff like this oh, and whoa. plug into the end of it and use it as a multimeter. That's cool. This thing is really crazy cool. I love huh. this thing. Yeah, um, that's like a super long. Yeah, it's really long, wow. but it's, you know, if you're alternating way down in the engine bay. Yeah. And you need to poke the connector on it. Oh, that's awesome. You got soldering tool. I don't really like the butane ones as much because they get too hot and melt the stuff around them. Oh, okay. When you're working with a bunch of wires all in a group, uh -huh. it's a little difficult to get it all. So do you have like an electric one that you I do at home. I don't have it here with me. Gotcha. Do you mostly just use butt connectors then? I mostly do butt connectors. Um, I, soldering connections aren't really meant to be shocked by driving, hmm. in my opinion. The, con the consistent shocking of you know, hitting over bumps and yeah. such will eventually break the, the solder over time. Huh, that makes sense. And the butt connectors are flexible. Yeah. In a sense. Huh. And so I mostly use butt connectors. Nice. But if I need to solder something like something very important or like a circuit board, mm -hmm. I'll use uh, soldering iron. Cool. I got these right here from Matco. I absolutely love this set and I use it all the time. And you can wow. build, basically build your circuit separate so you can build it away from it and then you can test everything that's awesome and it comes with the jump it comes with leads and everything yeah, and they all they all hook together wow you can put your stuff in here plug it in the circuit you can test it right here off the back oh, you wow. can put your multimeter in there and see what you're getting your reading huh that's an awesome set. and it has like all the different like styles yeah. huh yeah like it's got mostly honda on here but um it also has like these round ones that other brands use yeah. I'm not saying that Honda is the only one who uses spade connectors and nice. flat pins, but... That's cool. Yeah, that's a amazing set right there. I, this thing gets used all the time in my electrical diag. Cool. I'll break out the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> Going to work. <laughs> I'll also reorganize that later. Um, got the different thread repair stuff. You, everyone knows thread, re thread repair sucks. Oh, yeah. I have, a lot of people come to me and have try to have me help them fix their threads. I've got, well, I'll snap on in there. I've got a couple mixed stuff. I've got some Matco stuff and some sizes that snap on didn't sell. So do you use these often? These uh, feel, are these uh, like the most used? Uh, so these feeler gauges aren't really my most used. I bought the set because I loved these, these instant gripped ones. Uh -huh. and I thought I would really like this. Yeah. I, I thought it'd be really cool. But I don't know if it's just me, but I can't get a proper feel. Like I'm too oh, specific when I'm okay. adjusting valves. Gotcha. And I want to be have it, I'm too precise. Yeah. I would say in a sense. No, that where makes I want sense. I I, I got to have it a certain way, and if I can't feel it the way mm -hmm. I want, I did. So I didn't like the handles. Oh, gotcha. But it came with the sets of feeler gauges, which okay. are awesome. Cool. And I love those sets, so it made it worth buying just yeah. off that. Yeah, I mean, if you're doing it one way for so many years, and you finally jump to a handle, it's like, yeah, it just know. it just felt wrong in my hand. Huh. Um, this drawer is kind of junk and random stuff. Gasket scraper there. Oh, what is that? Is that like a... This? No, the scraper. Like, I've never oh, this that. is... Um, so I actually bought this for my Honda Grum. Whoa. Because um, it has that green uh, gasket that's really hard. It gets hard. It's really hard to get off. Huh. And it slices off like butter wow. off the case. Is it like the paper gasket? Yeah. Oh, okay. The old school paper gaskets. They're yeah. still using them on the Grom. Huh. And then there's a replacement blade tucked away in here. Oh, that looks super sharp. Got some random stuff. This holds um, your rocker assembly in place so that doesn't 
you don't lose the pins because having VTech, the there's little pins that lock into the different rockers. Oh, okay. And if one pops out, it just it might launch it across oh, the room. Yeah. Got oh, files. That's nice. uh, used to do um, accessories with those that would require you to cut a hole in, in this part of the vehicle, hmm. and you would kind of straighten it back out and make it nice. Then you paint over your your marks. Oh wow! So you could fit an accessory in there. I think it was the the hitch. Got the what is like why is so it? these are for hose clamps say you got one at a bad angle and you cannot get pliers on them oh okay and yeah so you just kind of pinch this down and you can get some weird uh, angles okay i've just never seen them where they have like this uh, yeah it's just huh. it holds so, yeah see that's that's really cool uh this is a matco one matco. i believe snap one and everyone else has a similar set i don't think that like anybody else does the hard i don't know if they do or not that's interesting got some matco i just really got these as well little micro screwdrivers oh yeah for there's just little tiny things that sometimes you need to get off. Those are Torx, so these are just the Phillips and standard screwdriver versions. Oh, gotcha. And they work really good. Yeah. Mostly use them on uh, keys for the getting the battery out. Oh, gotcha. It's got like a very fob. tiny screw in there, and it's uh, locked on, of course. Oh yeah. What's this? Um, this is for also for checking for spark. Kind of cool. It I think the batteries are dead or out of it right now, hmm. but um, it'll flash with every time this, it goes to arc. I actually did diagnose one car with this, which was cool. It had a random misfire. It had a, on the cylinder that was misfiring, it had a very dim light. It lit up dimly instead really? of like normally because it showed it had spark with that. Uh -huh. So I'm like, oh, okay, it should be working. And then I poked this on it and it did not l light up like the rest of the cylinders. Oh, really? So I know I had a bad coil pack. Huh. What is this? Those what are trunk it? spring tools. Trunk spring. Trunk springs is uh, assist when you open the lid on the uh -huh. trunk. There's big heavy duty springs in there and they're twisted in there in very unique ways and they're very hard to do really very dangerous <laughs> sometimes so these just help you they help you release them oh okay yeah because huh. i've seen broken trunk springs or if you add a spoiler an accessory spoiler and things it makes the trunk heavier so it's replace oh, the springs gotcha, yeah. for the new added weight mm -hmm. and you need to release the old ones and, and then get the new ones on oh, and that gotcha. makes it a little less scary and hard oh man uh i got a timing light not a lot of people use these anymore no. <laughs> i love working on older 90s hondas that's Definitely awesome. needs the timing light for that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially to replace that distributor. I'll go through the whole procedure and do it all the right way. Yeah. So That's cool. I have a cool thing that I do that not a lot of people do anymore. Some people just set them where they think they should be and call it good. Gotcha. Yeah. I like to I like to break out this tool and use it. It seems like like that's a very underrated because like the the way the car runs, like after you're using a timing light, it's just it's like just different. Night and day. Yeah. It's like there's, it's just like it just seems happier on the road exactly yeah <laughs> i can't really explain it other yeah than that. the car just seems slightly better for some reason yeah got the blue point vacuum here this thing's super cool um i actually just used it the other day had someone come with a shattered sunroof oh no. and instead of oh, letting all the glass fall into like the track and getting stuck in the back of the headliner and everything uh -huh. was able to suck almost all of it out nice. with this got the different attachments yeah, so it has pretty good suction. Yeah, it's got really good suction, really? surprisingly. I didn't huh. I didn't trust it, and then I, I, <laughs> one time he's like, just try it out. I'm like, okay, and I was like, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> got some of the more ancient tools that we don't use anymore. Oh, yeah. Uh, got the, the old air ratchets. I used to use these not every single day <laughs> for a few years, maybe yeah. like four years I used these. Yeah. They still probably work great. I just they're so noisy and loud, and yeah. the hoses gets in the way when you're twisting those different angles yeah. under the hood. What is that? Is that this? Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a angle grinder, or um, oh my gosh, what, the, what would be the specific word for this? Is that like a so it's a bolt. It's a, it's just for getting into like tiny bolt holes. Like a say you got a broken bolt, like a water pump bolt in uh -huh. the side, so you can't put anything really in there. To really get real sideways. Oh, okay, yeah. And so I'll put this in there, and it's, I believe it's a left-handed bit, and it'll spin it out. No way. Instead of me sitting there drilling it, I can... And, Whoa. And having, like, honestly, sometimes you'd have to remove the motor to get to some of these bolts. Ah, wow. I, I've only had to use it, like, once or twice, luckily. Huh. Yeah, like, yeah. when you're, like, right next to yeah, the frame. Yeah, you're, like, you're right next to the frame. Like, the only other option is to drop the motor. This thing is so amazing. Wow. Huh. Is this, like, an inspection camera? Or uh, no, that's actually... Um, um, it's a it's a borsk. Oh, really? That goes to your phone camera. Oh, that's cool. Um, huh. where, oh, he's right here. Sorry. No, it's okay. Blind. Uh, um, got this borescope here that uh, goes to your phone's uh, you use it over Wi-Fi and it'll 
show it on your phone. You can make it so you can record what you're finding. Like, yeah. this is amazing for inspecting inside the cylinder in the borehole or yeah. inside the intakes. I find bad turbos with this. So does that have like a battery or do you have to hook it up? Yeah, it does have a battery. It does. Okay. Uh, it's got an old Android charger on it. No way. That's and cool. And it just, yeah, and you can, on your phone, you can take, can't, you can take pictures, you can make a video. Wow. Um, it has different attachments that are out there. And one's a hook, which is actually why I bought it. Um, we Someone was working on a Type R using the other bore scope we have. Uh -huh. It's actually a snap-on one, and the little mirror came off of it. Oh, no. Down inside the cylinder, because we were looking for water inside the cylinder. Because I had a misfire, and it ended up being something silly. But um, the, the mirror fell down in there, and the Cornwall guy was here. And he goes, I have a bore scope with a, cam with a hook on it. Oh, He's wow. like, if, if it gets that out, you have to buy it. I'm like, <laughs> okay. So me being me, I'm like, I'm going to help my, my coworker out. Went and bought the, got this from him. Uh -huh. And sure enough, it got the wow. got it right out. That's got awesome. the little mirror out and uh, <laughs> good to go. That's awesome. And then here's all of the electric goodies. Nice. Got the stamp on mini drill. Oh, yeah. It works good for like doing plastics and small jobs. What is that? Uh, this is my thermal gun. Ah, okay. I have a battery in here. It works really good. You can just point and click, ah, see your temperature. Okay. You can hold it down and watch live temperature, and you can even lock it and store the temperature. Ah, okay. and I, so I, you'll notice I have both the Milwaukee and the Snap-on. Yeah. So like a month ago, this is only about a year old. Okay. And a brand new battery. It's still got the plastic on the screen. On oh, the yeah. The indicator <laughs> there. Uh -huh. Um. I had to cut out trailing arm bolts because they were seized in there and there's no other way to get them out. Uh -huh. The snap-on one, which was the one I originally owned, uh, overheats the battery. Really? Yeah. It won't stop overheating the battery. What? And it every it'll, I'll have to go put on the charger, it cools off, and then it'll show that it's fully charged again. I don't know what its deal is. That's weird. I don't huh. know if i got to try to warranty this out. I know this guy's over a year. This is less than a year. Huh. Have you talked to your snap-on? I haven't driver? yet. I keep yeah. forgetting, so huh. I'm not... You know, I'm not going to hold him accountable for that right yeah. now, but huh. let's see what they do, try to do for me. But this guy works um, pretty good? So, yeah, so then the Cornwall guy was here, and he had the Milwaukee one in there, and so I walked in there, got that, and it cut through uh, both both trailing arm bolts like it was nothing. No way. <laughs> like, yep. Didn't even, it didn't even drop a bar on the battery. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, uh, same blade and everything. That's awesome. Huh. Uh, so I really like this Milwaukee one. Yeah. That's really like my first Milwaukee tool. Huh. How's the, I wonder, like, is the grip, like, because that's like a pistol grip. And this yeah, so like this a, is a pistol grip. Um, this one's definitely better for the angle I was at. Uh -huh. But this one you have to push on the top oh, to get I it see. down. Yeah. But it just, huh. it's even, fa I think it's even faster. Oh, gotcha. Huh. Uh, big old battery for this one. Huh. Yeah, that's really slow compared to that one. Yeah. That's interesting. But then I've got this. The 18.8 drill, and this thing is awesome. I love this thing. This thing works great. Drilling all sorts of different things. I got all sorts of different drill bits for different jobs. Got the left-handed drill bits from Snap-on. Those Sweet. are amazing. The Hyperstep small pack from Matco. Whoa, those uh, are tiny, huh? They're, they go really small, but they work really good for certain things, huh. like rotor screws and such, and um, oh, yeah. like the door latch on the inside of the door works really good for that kind of stuff. This is another set of them. And that's all the big ones. Oh yeah. And so, and I believe actually all the small ones that are in here too. Huh. And these are amazing. These just cut through everything like butter. Yeah. Like it's no resistance, nothing. I've that's only awesome. burnt one of them so far. I think I need to. Actually, no, that one's brand new. I just barely used that one the other day. <laughs> it's, it's still good. It's just discolored oh, from amazing. being used. These these are amazing. I love these drill bits. And then I got one more special tool. This is really good for checking for boost leaks on a turboed car. Put it on there, compress air to it. Uh -huh. And if it leaks off, you know you got a boost leak somewhere. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And then sometimes I'll even spray, put a little bit of smoke in there, uh -huh. and then pressurize it and see where it comes out of. Huh. Well, how do you know if it's leaking? Though? Um, so I'll have my oh, the like air chuck, okay, yep, gotcha. and I'll watch the chuck okay. slowly drop. Gotcha. I'm going to start using the drawer above it. And this is really anything to show off. Uh, so, awesome. yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. I, I sure do appreciate you uh, yeah. taking the time out of your day to show me your tools and everything. It's kind of kind of wild to be in this like tiny room and have all your tools, but it seems so secure. Like. It's so it's so nice. Like there's like when I lock this door and I know nothing's gonna. Yeah, that's so awesome. broke in here. I know everything's secure in here. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. 
I sure do. This is just so wild. It's so different to see stuff like this. But uh, until the next one, we'll see you.